guys and welcome back to my channel. If there is any noise, it is the cars on the road. It's very gloomy and it has rained, so the cars are extra loudly today, so I'm so sorry. I can't do anything about it. I, I know it's annoying that I need to disclaim the noise, but I need to film this, so it is today. And I really want to film some other videos today, so bear with me. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about my Too Faced uh, chocolate bar palette that I'm panning this year. It is my Panda palette. So if you don't know the Panda palette challenge, it is when you pick a palette or you can pick some eyeshadows. You can do whatever you want really. But the idea was to pick a palette and then try to pan it all in a year. This year has definitely been harder than the other years that I been doing a panda palette. I took the challenge and uh, broke the bullet, if you can say it like that, <laughs> on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So I will show you where I was last month. And this is where I am now. So you can see I have a lot of progress and a lot of changes. And I will of course go through them with you guys. So the biggest change you can see in my palette is that champagne truffle is gone. It's a sad story. I was just going to clean out my makeup table and then it fell on the floor. I have some pictures here so you can see where I, what I mean. It was all over the floor. Nothing was in the palette anymore. So I couldn't. I couldn't save it because my floor was dirty. I was going to clean my apartment. I was going to vacuum after I have cleaned my table. So I couldn't save any of it. I'm kind of sad and not really at the same time. Champagne Truffle was a beautiful inner corner highlight or a cheek highlight, but I didn't like it as an eyeshadow as it was intended to be. So I'm not really sad and it would have to, it would have take me forever to go through it anyway. I, I dropped it on the 11th, so yeah, I have just used my regular highlighter on in my inner corner now. Then I have hit pan on um, salted caramel and amaretto. Salted caramel I hit pan just a few days after my update on the 8th of April. And then amaretto I have just hit pan on last week. It was on the 26th. So I'm pretty excited that my palette has this most, much more than I'm very excited to say that I have so much use out of my palette already after four months. That is kind of amazing. I didn't really expect me to have this much progress. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to talk a bit about the shades and do a comparison like I used to do um, and then take it from there. <laughs> so I have used white chocolate every single day I have on makeup. Um, so because it's just the perfect shade for me to set my eyeshadow base or my primer. And yeah, it is going and the pan is expanding. So I'm really, really happy about that. Milk chocolate, I have used a few times this month with Amoretto so I could have hit pan on that one because they just match the best because there are more cool tone shadows in this palette. The pan has expanded a little bit. <laughs> then I have Black Forest Truffle. I have actually used it a few times this month. Once or twice, I think. So I have found a look where I think it is going to be useful and looks very nice. I'm wearing it in a, in a video on Friday. Oh, in this weekend at least. I am wearing it all over my lid with some orange in the crease. I have used it a few times, so I'm very, very happy about that. And I found a way to bring out the purple and some of the glitter, so it's just not that dark. Triple fudge I have begun to use in my eyebrows. I really, really like it because I have dyed my hair darker, so I can get away with the more darker brows. So the dip is getting deeper, but not that, not that fast. <laughs> So salted caramel, I have of course hit pan on, a good amount of pan. Marcy pan, I had pan, but I have used that a few times as well. Just to like tone down amaretto a few times or something like that. Semi-sweet, I have used a few times, but I don't think you can see any difference. And then store by bonbon, I have definitely expanded some pan on that as well, because I use it with milk chocolate in the crease. Candied Violet, I don't think I have used, and Amaretto has a big dent and pan, because I have panned a look 
with that once. Um, and I actually did a video on that look in February, I think. So I can link that down below if you want to see how I use it. And then we have Hazelnut, and that is the color I have on my eyelid today on my Maybelline College 2 and on and on bronze. That has been my go-to look with that color with salted caramel in the crease. I said I wanted to hit pan on that one and hit pan on Emoretta instead. <laughs> yeah, that's just life, I guess. Hazelnut is just so dense and kind of dry, so it's really, really hard to get a dip in it, but I can see some wear, so that is a good sign. Cherry Cordial has a dent. I don't know if you can see it on camera or in any pictures or anything, but I can see it in person and I'm very, very excited that I can see the dip because I am using it every single day. So yeah, that is also a very dense shadow and it looks like there are some shine shimmer in it, but you can't see it when you apply it. It is matte. So yeah, that is my palette. I haven't gotten around to try to repress uh, gilded ganache. I'm I have really given up. People are saying it still that I should try I just don't want to <laughs> I just don't want to that is my panda palette update I will insert uh, the progress pictures in the slideshow in the end here and then I will insert the looks I have been doing so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you will stick around on my channel for more content and project pants I do a lot. I hope you are doing well until my next video Bye.